Just a moment. Okay, so today we're going to finish up our section for 2-3. For now, we're skipping the example 4 if you go and look in the book, which is word problems because they're a little bit different. Um, and the section we're looking at today, our objective is that students will be able to solve equations to find, I didn't mean and, I should say an indicated value. So an example problem is this, 3x plus 12 equals 30. And we're going to, this is the indicated value, find the value of x plus 4. Basically, they're saying these are related equations, and if I can determine what x is here, I can plug that x into this and find this value. Okay? So, we know what to do with this. What's our first step? Subtract 12. On the left side of the equation, we end up with 3x, and on the right side, we end up with 18. We're going to divide by 3, meaning that x is equal to 6. So our value of x plus 4 is going to be 6 plus 4, and that means the value is 10. That's what it means by an indicated value. You're given one equation, and then take the solution for that equation and plug it into an expression or some other value that they're giving us. Let's do another one. What if I have 3y minus, parentheses, 9 minus 2y equals 51? Find the value of 3y. Well, we have an invisible here. Our first step is going to be to simplify by starting with multiplying that negative 1, correct? Mm -hmm. So we're going to distribute it. This 3y comes down. We're not touching it yet. Negative 1 times 9. Negative 1 times negative 2y. Equals 51. I gotta combine like terms before I can solve. I have 3y and 2y, which are? 5y. So I've got 5y minus 9 equals? 51. What am I gonna do with that negative 9? Add 9. I have 5y equals 60. Divide by? 5. Y equals 12. So 3Y is going to be 36. Are we okay with these? Yeah, I get it now. I see what I used to, what mistake I used to make. Remember, the original question was solve this to find this. That's how I think of these. The book doesn't say that, but I want you to think. Solve this to find this. That's really what these kinds of problems are like. Okay? Not tons to practice, but I'm going to give you a little bit of some review of some of the others, because as I know from here, you guys, we might need some more practice than others. Um, practice today is going to be on pages 96 to 97. You're first doing 20 to 23, and then 43 to 46.
And then I think I want you to try, these are a little bit different, but I want you to try them, 47 to 49. It's 11 problems. Okay.